Hello everyone, I'm Lefeur back again with another Awakening Chaos Era video. So in today's video, I'll be creating a guide on the runes of God on how to tackle the ancient relic, the Lightwing Sakuri, with the condition of life desolation where your heroes cannot heal from healing abilities except for lifesteal. So these are the heroes that I have selected, Yolanda, Mary, William as well as Augustine for the spells is Adric Purgatory and Shield of Mercy. So the strategy is we want to buff up Augustine with a lot of uh, damage boosting abilities like Mary's uh, damage up, Yolanda's attack up, and William's counter attack. So each time the Lightweight uh, Sacred attacks or targets the Augustine, he will always target the Dark Hero in my team. Then he will benefit from the counter attack buff which, which allows Augustine to do massive amount of damage to the particular enemy. And the good thing about both Yolanda and as well as Mary is they their special ability that boosts up the damage for of my Augustine. They also provide bonus uh, turn, which allows my Augustine to quickly re uh, uh, cool down his ultimate ability to do even more damage. And for the talent that I've selected for this particular ancient relic is the one with the thunder punishment. That uh that as you can see there's a yellow buff icon on top of the health bar of my heroes that indicates how many times they have attacked and once it reaches the 12 attacks right all of my heroes will gain an additional bonus turn so that's how the tiny punishment works and then for the, the other two talents I've selected the one that provides additional critical damage and the third talent is the our the our only glass that provides an additional five more rounds so in total I'll be battling this uh, Lightwing Sakuri in 15 rounds. And yeah, so the strategy is to boost up your hero, Augustine. And the difficult part is you need to always manage or monitor Lightwing Sakuri's ultimate ability as I'm doing right now. Because I want uh, Lightwing Sakuri to only uh, use his ultimate once my guard buff, the one that's placed by Yolanda, is ready to protect him from any fatal hit as well as I'm also using Shield of Mercy uh, to protect Augustine once the guard buff has been expired or used up due to the damage dealt by Lightwing Sakuri there so that's uh, one and also Mary brings a unique ultimate ability that provides an invincibility buff which prevents my hero from receiving any damage so this works really well with uh, this kind of battle because the invisibility buff negates all damage dealt by the enemy, especially for Lightwing Sakuri's ultimate ability there. And then my Yolanda also can provide shield to protect Augustine when the guard buff or shield mercy has already been expired. So the, the shield will protect him from those uh, minions attack. So that's basically the juice of it. And the second part of this strategy is since we're doing a lot of attacks on Lightwing Sakuri, right? We, we want to stop attacking Lightwing Sakuri once his ultimate is near to the cooldown, like uh, like two turns or one turn. So when, when it reaches close to that particular cooldown, all we need to do is to target the other uh, enemies in the front line, which is like Mary as well as Vidar, the ones the ones in front of uh, Lightwing Sakuri. So this allows you to not attack Lightwing Sakuri too much until he's able to cycle down to his ultimate ability to one-shot Augustine when my guard buff or shield mercy is not ready yet. So yeah, that's, so, so that's basically the strategy. And also another tip for you that you can use is always use Augustine to target the enemy with the defense down. So that the splash damage would be dealt even bigger. And yeah, so uh yeah, so that's basically it. And you can also have some focus that to apply the buff on the enemy, like the unhealable or I think unhealable doesn't really make any benefit here for this particular battle because they do not heal. So Augustine, you can lower down his focus that is not really necessary. But it's also quite useful in stripping away that immune buff or attack up buff placed by Lightwing Zachary on himself. So that's basically the juice of this strategy. Basically, you need to monitor the Lightwing Zachary ultimate 
and manage your attacks wisely and attack the the mobs in front of him when Lightwing's Aquarius ultimate is close to near and yeah also do take note that Vida also places a dodge a uh, dodge buff on himself so your attack might miss uh miss them so what I do is instead of uh attacking Vidar, I'll attack Mary. But once Vidar's uh Vidar's uh dodge buff has been expired, right? Then I'll, I'll only use Augustine to target Vidar instead of Mary. But it also depends on whether they have defense down or whether do they have dodge uh, buff. So it's a pretty kind of hassle. But in order to achieve a high amount of damage with this team. So you need to go through these uh, activities. Alright, so we are closing on the ninth round. Where we are almost taking down both of these mobs in front of Lightwing Zachary. And this will be the most challenging part. So when both of the mobs in front of him has fallen, then most of your attacks will be greatly increased on Lightwing Zachary here. Because of the bonus turn and uh, bonus attacks. Uh, a bonus turn provided by Mary as well as Yolanda. So maybe another way we can do this is uh, I think in order to improve this strategy is maybe during the last wave like right now instead of uh, providing bonus turn to Augustine we can we can do uh, less less attack on, on Lightning Zachary without using the bonus turn so that we can live longer throughout the battle to uh, to ensure that the guard buff as well as the shield mercy is ready because this one is i'm just basically using using up all my bonus turn to quickly take down like wings are so by round 10 we are almost close closing to finish off this like wings are here another tip that I can provide to you is you need to gear augustine in an assassin set rather than a divine set or a curse set assassin set is a better choice for augustine because it amplifies single target damage like what Augustine specializes in. First set and divine set is also quite popular. However, due to their unpredictable nature of their 30% chance of proccing, this might lead to Lightwing Zachary uh, cycling through his skills too quickly because Lightwing Zachary can gain bonus turn whenever he, he's been attacked. And that might lead to resetting his ultimate ability too fast which allows him to uh, nuke out Augustine when your guard buff, shield mercy or invincibility buff is not ready yet. And do note that uh, in order to improve the damage dealt by Augustine, you is required to have William to have his ascension tool to boost up the basic ability of Augustine from 40% to 60%. And another one would be having Yolanda to have the ascension tool to reduce the guard buff uh, cooldown from 4 turns to 2 turns. And I think, uh, I think one more would be Mary, if you book her right, then she'll be able to reduce her skill cooldown for the invincibility buff to reduce, to prevent the fatal hit on my heroes. Right, so my Augustine has already fallen, left only two more heroes. So basically you can perform auto here. It doesn't really matter because Augustine have a lot of health and this, uh, two, this three supporter heroes like Yolanda, William and Mary doesn't do really much damage here. So you need to have another... Uh, good member to finish off Lightwing Zachary using their yeah, spare heroes. Maybe you can use like my strategy that I've shown earlier, which is the using Thor plus Thor plus Rip to perform the counter attacks there. All right, so let me show you my builds for each of these heroes, so you can replicate this on your account. Alright, so the first hero I have here will be Mary. Here are her overall stats. Basically, this is my build for Mary for the arena. But the most important thing is to have her with high focus to apply the Serene Purgatory and some resistance to prevent the Vida from taunting her. And for her gears, basically, these are a mixture of Grey set as well as Guard set. This one is yeah, mainly for arena, but you can use uh, other types of gears on what you have on your account. So I'll just quickly go through each of these equipment. So you can just get a glimpse of uh, what I use. So the main stats that I prioritize on her would be speed, health, defense, focus, and resistance. And for her glyphs, they are all maxed out. Same goes with her abilities. And checking through her ascension. By ascending her to the second ascension, right, what it does is each time she removes the negative effect, it will also heal that hero by 5% of their max health. 
and for her masteries, I book her. Left only one that's not booked. Basically, that particular mastery will uh, decrease the skill cooldown of her ultimate ability by one turn. This one is the one that gives her allies invincibility buff. The second hero on my team will be Yolanda. Here are her overall stats. So it just prioritizes on her health, defense, speed, focus, and resistance. Focus is needed if you want to use her to apply the Siren Purgatory. And for her gears, I'm currently gearing her in a revival set to heal herself up and ready set for an additional speed. So you can pause the video at any point of time to quickly see what are the stats that I have here on my gears. Basically just speed boots and then health ring. Next will be the defense necklace. And for her glyphs, they're all maxed out. Same goes with her abilities. And for her ascension, this one is really important. We need to get the ascension tool to reduce the guard uh, cooldown from 4 turns to 2 turns to make it easier to manage uh, Augustine from the fatal hits. She doesn't have any mastery books invested in her. Alright, so let's move on to the third hero, which is William. And here are his overall stats. I'm currently building him as a damage nuker for the Ash Magistra. So basically, I just prioritize an attack, critical rate, critical damage, some focus and uh, speed. And I'm building him in an every set as well as a radar set. And yeah, so let's quickly go through the gears. So these are the stats that I use for the Hell Mode Stage 4 Ash Magistra to clear out the, uh, the fight aims around the boss. His glyphs and abilities are all maxed out as usual. Then for his ascension, it's important to get the ascension tool to improve the basic ability damage from 40% to 60% here. And for his masteries, I did not manage to... Uh, uh, Max out everything because of the lack of mastery books. But the most important thing is to max out the ability mastery effect. The reason I say that is it will increase the chances of applying the increased uh, the defense down on the target at 100% and also providing an additional bonus uh, counter attack buff. Finally, our main star of the show, Augustine. Here are his overall stats. Just focus on the attack, critical rate, critical damage, and maybe some focus to apply the... to strip away the... Positive effect from the enemies. I'm currently gearing him in an assassin set as well as a guard set. Basically, you do not uh, need to gear him guard set, but basically, that, that's my best gear on my account. I would recommend you to get a warrior set instead for more for an additional 15% attack. And then his glyphs are already maxed out, same goes with his abilities. And I, I didn't manage to get any copies of him. But actually, the 5th Ascension only reduces the critical damage. I think that was more mostly used for Arena. It's fully booked with the Mastery books. Alright, so that's basically it for my video on my showcase on how I'm, I'm almost closing to one shot or one key the Ancient Relic, uh, Lightwing Zachary Ancient Relic on the Life Desolation condition on Guild vs Environment Floor 9. If you do not have Mary, you can substitute her with Bruzak, which is more of a, of a safer route. Because Bruzak is able to provide a two-turn protection where he mitigates all of the incoming damage from Augustine to himself. Uh, do let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. And if you found this video helpful, do give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, you can click on the subscribe button as well as ringing the notif notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload a new video on the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!